Check out this guy, this $50 vintage sewing machine. That's awesome. Uh, would this be good for a beginner? No, probably not. But look at how dope this thing is. This thing is 100 years old. Normally this video would be very straightforward. If you want to buy a new sewing machine, you either go to this website or you go to this location here and then you avoid developing a crippling tailoring addiction. There's a shirt down below that says I'm a sociopath and um, it's pretty accurate. I'm SD and 2020 has been nuts so far. In addition to a lot of other different things, it's almost impossible. It is impossible to find a sewing machine because literally everybody and their mother is making masks right now, which don't get me wrong, is amazing. I think it's a very, very supportive and admirable thing to do. Uh, but then there's all of us over here who were always buying sewing machines and thread and needles and fabric and all that stuff before, but now we, uh, now we can't find it. Or there's people like you who've been binge watching my content and now you're really excited to go tailor everything in your closet, but you can't because, well, again, you can't find a sewing machine. And if that's you, don't worry, I got you. Let's say you're in the market for a brand new sewing machine. Well, let's start with the world's biggest online retailer, Amazon, because that kind of sort of makes sense that you would look for a sewing machine on Amazon, right? Now, the criteria that we're gonna be looking for in this sewing machine is we want it to be cost effective, we want it to do a straight stitch, a zigzag stitch, and we want to make sure that, well, we don't outgrow it. And the biggest issue with Amazon right now is it's, oh, it's like everything else. As you can see, not very many things are prime eligible on here and everybody on Amazon is kind of doing the same thing that other online retailers are doing. Well, not online retailers, but individuals is they're price gouging all of these. All of these are horribly overpriced. There is a link down in the description for a sewing machine. It is a cheap, cost-effective sewing machine. Yo, that thing was like $100 when I put it in there. And I owe you a huge apology because what ended up happening is I went back to go check a lot of my uh, affiliate links to make sure they were pointing in the right directions. Well, little did I know that sewing machine ended up becoming price gouged and it was like 450 bucks. So I to kind of scramble come on here trying to find another one that was reasonably priced and even the one that i replaced it with is now out of stock but that's okay let's do some research here let's see if we can find a brand new one that is actually worth it okay well, let's start at this top row up here okay this brother for 134 bucks it's a quilting machine it's a really good deal for a quilting sewing machine but it's temporarily out of stock let's kind of keep going along the line here let's do this uh let's check out the singer here okay 249 bucks i mean not spectacular but what's really going to be nice about this sewing machine is you're probably not going to outgrow it it's going to be able to do a straight stitch a zigzag stitch looks like you can do a blind hem stitch and we've also got a back stitch over here this is a very very uh very straightforward, good sewing machine. Let's check out the shipping over here. It looks like it's not prime eligible, but we could get it as soon as June 15th to the 17th. It's the 8th right now, so a couple days. It's not horrible, but let's keep looking. Let's go back to the main page here. Keep scrolling down. Keep. Oh, oh no, hang on, hang on. Actually, perfect. I want to show you this one here. People ask me all the time, hey, SD, what about those, uh, those mini sewing machines that I see? This one is a little bit better than the ones that I've come across, but yo, this thing is $85, and it's another 20-ish dollars for shipping. So it's like 105 bucks. Now, okay, let's do this. Let's look at the features here. Okay, that's good. It can do a straight stitch and it can do a zigzag stitch in addition to a couple of other stitches here. You can actually control the stitch tension, which you don't come across a lot. You can make a back stitch on here. All right, that's good. So if this was all that I could find, would I buy this sewing machine? Well, yes and no. Let me elaborate a little bit. If this was it, Okay, maybe I would pull the trigger and take the plunge, but here's a problem with these mini sewing machines. Not as much this one, but a lot of them that you're gonna come across, you were gonna outgrow this thing in like a day. Because you are going to realize that tailoring is incredibly addicting. And while this thing can handle lighter materials, you can handle, uh, you can tailor a t-shirt on this, you could tailor a dress shirt, maybe lightweight denim, but that's kind of pushing it. But anything past that, this machine is not gonna be able to handle that at all. And you could make an argument if this machine was even cheaper than it is. If this machine was like 50 bucks, $40, $30, maybe, but for this price, no, let's keep going. And these ones here, I've come across these guys a couple of times here, these handheld sewing machines. Um, also, no, this guy right here, what this guy is gonna probably be able to do really well is fix things. Um, if you have a side seam that you wanna fix, you can do that on here. Yeah, it can do a straight stitch, and I'm assuming it can only do a straight stitch, um, so no. I mean, the price, $30, 
okay. But this falls into that same category of you're just gonna end up, you're gonna outgrow it in a day, you're gonna be mad that you spent 30 bucks on it, when you could have put that $30 towards a full-on sewing machine. Like for instance, this one of the top row up here, you could put that $30 towards this. That's crazy, this thing just changed price within like 45 seconds. Crazy how Amazon works that way. What else we got on this front page here? Let's see. Ooh, here we go, perfect. We got an XM2701, okay, that's definitely a good brand. And based off of uh, the initial pictures here, okay, good, it can do all the stitches that we want it to do. You can do, uh, let's see, we got the stitch width, stitch length, stitch tension, let's see. That's probably the stitch tension right there. I don't see it anywhere else on this machine. This is a pretty good, solid go-to sewing machine, but let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do some digging. The price isn't anywhere advertised on here. So now we gotta go to this see all buying options over here. It's probably being price gouged. $200, uh, okay, all right, that's, that's fine. That's not terrible. Um, this is gonna be one where you're gonna have to kind of weigh the pros and the cons. It's a more spendy sewing machine. 214 bucks to get it June 27th or June 22nd. All right, that's not terrible. Uh, the huge pro of this sewing machine is you're probably not gonna outgrow it. If you throw a denim needle down here into this thing, this thing will handle jeans just fine. In addition to everything else that you throw at it. So for $200, that's a pretty good investment. So overall, Amazon sewing machines, they exist. Um, don't get anything that's gonna be more than 150 or 200 bucks. Why did it not go back? There we go. Look for that price point. Anything more than that, 300, $400. Yeah, you're gonna come across those a lot on here right now. Presser feet. Just made a review on some presser feet and these are all in stock. You know why? Because people aren't using different presser feet on their machines. When you are making masks and just making very basic things, you're just gonna use the presser foot that came with your machine. It's just a universal general presser foot. But huh, no, we go way more in depth on this channel right here, don't we? We do all sorts of things. So nobody cares about any of these. Look at this guy right here, a 62 two piece presser foot set uh, 4366 that's a great price not all of these presser feet are going to be great by any means no but holy smokes i kind of want to pull the trigger on this because it looks like it's got a whole bunch in here that i'm even missing in my set I see a zigzag foot i see an overcast foot oh heck yeah seriously nice most presser feet if i don't know if you can see it right there that is a general standard presser foot right there. Look at all these other ones that you're getting in this set. You all oh, have fun avoiding getting addicted then. If you're looking for a used sewing machine, I think Facebook Marketplace is an incredible place to find a solid deal. Now, it's a little bit tricky though too because you're gonna run into issues with price gouging on here. As you can see, there's some weights here because I was looking at weights earlier because, well, they're being price gouged as well. But used sewing machines on here, eh, they're not terrible. I mean, you can find a pretty solid deal deal now let's start here okay let's start at the top let's say i was looking for a used sewing machine first off price thirty dollars thirty five dollars okay that's decent it's clearly older um i'm gonna say this sewing machine's probably from the late 60s early 70s it can do a ton of different stitches here let's check out this second picture okay you took a picture of your picture that was weird anyway going back um you can do a ton of different stitches here um euro pro i haven't heard of that brand it looks like it's an asian company here which um, is great. Now, an issue that you're gonna run into with older used sewing machines like this, do not by any means think that because it's old and because it's used, that it's gonna do a, a bad job or a worse job than a brand new one. No, not at all. A lot of times this sewing machine might even be a lot better than a brand new one, but two things you wanna be aware of when you're looking for a used sewing machine are uh, the uh, stitch tension. That's something that can just kind of get worn out as time goes on. The stitch, ten the tension plates inside of the machine just kind of lose their tension so while you might think that you have a tight tension it ends up, it's not tight at all so you go to use it and you're like why is my stitch all janky looking and another issue too is the timing between the needle and the feed dogs at the bottom they can get out of sync so then you have to take it into uh to get it synced or you could do it yourself it's not horribly or incredibly difficult you can do it yourself but a lot of times um you can take it in to have it serviced now with a brand like this who knows if this company is even in existence anymore so yeah you might pay 35 bucks for this sewing machine but then you go to have it serviced somewhere and but then you got to pay or they want you to pay 200 dollars to have it serviced so it's absolutely not worth it let's keep going oh man. <laughs> look at this thing this antique treadle sewing machine let's just use this one this is okay 
this thing is dope. This thing is, oh, this thing is incredible. Um, now, for this one here, is it going to do what we want it to do? Yeah, most likely it's going to do a good job of it. Um, this thing is awesome. I kind of want that for 80 bucks. For $80, I would buy this. You should not buy this. Oh, wow. Hold on a second here. They have... Holy smokes, I was not expecting that. They still have all of the original accessories. Look at that. This sewing machine is probably literally 100 years old. Now, it's in good shape considering how old it is. This plan totally backfired. But look at this. Look at all those accessories. It's got the instruction book. It's got... I don't even know if they used presser feet then. It's got, you know, a couple more parts over here. Um, yeah, I, for $80, maybe. This might be not necessarily a good, you know, beginner sewing machine. No, let me back up. This might be a great beginner sewing machine because how many times do you see one like this? That It's got its own case still? Wow. No way. Let's check out this guy here. Okay, first things first. $80? Uh, it's iffy. Well, let's check out uh, a couple more details here. 1969. Okay, that's still a good thing. Uh, Sears Kenmore sewing machine. That's one of those companies and brands that you hear of when you think like, wait, Sears Kenmore, don't they make dishwashers and, and refrigerators? What are they doing making sewing machines? Well, a lot of you probably know this, but back in the day, Sears Kenmore, they were like the Amazon of appliances. They made everything and they had a huge footprint in the market. So if you were to come across something like this, this is a solid sewing machine. I wouldn't have any doubts about it still working. You're going to have this same issues um, with uh, stitch tension right here, same with the timing down here, you're going to want to get that looked at. But overall, it looks like it can do a lot of the same things, and that's probably our stitch type right here, what looks to be our stitch width, stitch length, or vice versa. Overall, it looks like a pretty solid sewing machine. What's really cool about these ones is this area down here is way more low profile. They used to build them in desks like this, so you have all of this surface right here to work with when you're, uh, when you're tailoring things, which, let me tell you, a whole lot more room than you'd have on a stool, that's for sure. But overall, for that price, $80, would I take the plunge? Would I pull the trigger? Maybe, if this was the only thing that I could find, Yes, but I'd much rather put that $80 towards a brand new sewing machine that we just saw on Amazon. Eh, let's keep going. We can probably do better. See what else we got. See what else we got. Ooh, okay. Bingo. Let's see. $125 for this Kenmore. Um, this one looks to be about, eh, I'm going to say late 50s, maybe early 60s. A Kenmore is the same thing where you look at a Kenmore sewing machine and you're like, what Kenmore makes sewing machines? Not anymore. They were a big player back in the day. And uh, two things too, um, with so, uh, used sewing machines like this when you're shopping online anywhere, one thing you wanna look for are, does it come with the accessories? Does it just have the sewing machine? Or what else we got here? I mean, what is this? Is that the instruction man? Is that a turkey? Oh, that's her hair. Oh, <laughs> awkward. Uh, that looks like a, a roasted turkey. That's awkward. Um, okay, yeah, anyway, I think this must be the instruction manual here, and that's the case. When you see something like that, that is a very, very good sign, because that means it was owned by someone who actually used it, who took care of it. So yeah, you might have to have this thing serviced and looked at, um, but besides that, yeah, it's probably a pretty good deal for 125 bucks. Um, let's use the criteria of if this was the only one that I could find, if this is the only one that was in existence, would I pull the trigger? Yes. Um, I would buy this over the ones that were being price gouged on Amazon because this is such a solid, reputable brand that I wouldn't have any issues, you know, finding a place to service it, finding parts for it. Whereas if it was some brand that I had never heard of before or wasn't in existence at all, eh, for that price, no, I'd keep looking. Let's try and find one more real quick here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, let's see, this uh, vintage Singer sewing machine. First off price, 50 bucks. Yup, that's a good price for a used sewing machine, that's for sure. Looks like it can overall do what it is that we want it to do. Um, we got our back stitch right there, stitch type or length. 
uh, stitch width or vice versa, stitch tension, okay, cool. What's cool about these old sewing machines is as you can see, uh, the fundamental mechanics of a sewing machine don't really change as time goes on. They haven't changed in 100 years. This sewing machine, you notice anything? See how it looks like identical to all of the other sewing machines that I sew, I sew, I show on my channel. Um, you know, you got, your, you got your thread up here, it just runs all the way down, you run it down to your needle, they're all the same. This one's just older, that's all. This one's probably late 60s, early 70s. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, for 50 bucks, pull the trigger on this one, absolutely. Singer would service this for you. Um, who knows how much it would be? It might be a little bit too much money. Let's check out some more pictures. Ooh, here we go, even better. We got instruction manual there. That means it's been taken care of. They still have this after who knows how many years. What else we got here? Okay, we got some, uh, uh, let's see. Got some old school sewing patterns. If you want to make like a bell bottom dress, I guess. What's funny is that's like actually in style again. My daughter's friends wear things like this. Let's see what other kind of pictures we got here. That might be the only one. Okay, uh, but yeah, for 50 bucks, absolutely pull the trigger on this one. I would, this is number one, I would pull the trigger on this one before I'd pull the trigger on any of the other ones, including that Amazon one, because you could have this serviced for, if you have to have it serviced, you could have it serviced for probably relatively cheap, hopefully, but if not, for 50 bucks, this will do everything it is that you want it to do, as long as you put a denim needle in there. Let's take it back to 1999 and uh, let's go shopping on eBay, shall we? Let's start with this one right here. All right, this mini sewing machine. Um, no, absolutely not. We've already talked about these mini sewing machines. You're gonna outgrow this super quick. Yeah, it can do the basics, but you're gonna wanna start like tailoring jeans and this ain't gonna get it done for you. That's for sure. For this price, for 68 bucks, or 57 dollars 58 bucks, no. You could get a used sewing machine that can do everything for that. Um, absolutely not for this one. Let's, we can do better than this. Let's keep going. Okay, now uh, this Toyota sewing machine. For 46 bucks, it's not being sold, it's just being, uh, you can only uh, bid on it, which, who does that? I just want to buy something, I don't want to bid on it. A Toyota sewing machine. You might look at it and again, like, think that it's weird. Hey, Toyota used to make sewing machines, but I wouldn't look at it and think it's a bad sewing machine. It does say mini sewing machine. I can't really tell based off of the picture, but it does look pretty small. How much was this thing, 46 bucks? No, if you had to get a mini sewing machine, you could get a brand new one for that price. So no, let's keep going. We can do better. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, a Brother XL 3010 for 42 bucks. Um, okay. This one, that's a real good sewing machine. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to say what? Late 80s, early 90s? Yep, we can do all the stitches we want it to do. Back stitch down there. Stitch type, stitch length, width all up top there. All right, cool. Yeah, you could throw a denim needle in there and you would be good to go. If you could buy it for this price for $42 or let's say less than 75 bucks. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. The price is good, yeah, but that shipping is going to bump it up to close to 100 bucks. Would I pull the trigger? Um, you know, yeah, I would. I would. For less than $100, I would for sure buy this sewing machine. You know, Because you don't have to worry about it really being serviced. It should be fine. Let's check out a couple more pictures here, see if it comes with any accessories. I don't see anything. They took the picture on their stove. That's weird. What happens in cases like this is this probably means that like it was grandma's sewing machine and grandma passed away and they don't know how to use it now. So they just are getting rid of it, but they don't know. They don't have any of the accessories. I don't see a foot pedal or anything like that. So um, I take that back. I might not buy that. Let's go find one more. One more. Come on, SD. One more. Ooh, look at this guy. 150 bucks for a brand new brother sewing machine. LX3817A. Okay, let's see what we got. 150 bucks. Uh, is shipping extra? Nope. Okay, sweet. I like what we got right here. We might have won on the, on the very last one that we find. Uh, I would normally look at pictures of the machine, but it's in the box still, so that's fine. Let's take a look at this guy. Based off of the dimensions, we got the back stitch there, the stitch type, stitch tension, all that stuff. All of the settings seem like they're kind of compact and close together. What are some of these features here? 17 stitches, uh, four sewing feet included. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Includes stretch blind hem stitch, yeah. Out of everything that we have seen so far, if you could get this, oh, let's see, June 15th, only about a week or so. If you could get that, yeah, absolutely I would pull the trigger on that. You won't be outgrowing that. 